Although the battery may be down, or on the southernmost tip of Manhattan, it's a little neighborhood on Staten Island known as Tottenville that is actually the southernmost border of New York City. And it's here where we begin our tour today. This unassuming little house on the southern edge of Staten Island is known as the Conference House and dates all the way back to 1680, just a couple of decades after the old Dutch colony of New Amsterdam was taken over by the British and renamed New York in honor of the Duke of York. It was owned by a man named Christopher Billop, a captain in the British Navy. Remember that name. Now, disputes over the boundaries separating New York and neighboring New Jersey were common in the colonial era. We have to remember that New York City has one of the best natural harbors in the world, and so shipping revenues were very valuable, as you can imagine. When the British took over New York in 1664, the Duke of York granted the island of Staten Island to the colony of New Jersey, but he also stipulated that all small islands in New York Harbor belong to the colony of New York. So, New York claimed that Staten Island, at 55 square miles, was indeed a small island and therefore claimed it to be a part of New York. New Jersey insisted Staten Island was rightfully theirs. The bickering went on for years. So what's a duke to do? Well, here's what he did. The Duke of York declared that all islands that can be circumnavigated by boat in less than 24 hours were to be deemed small. So, Mr. Billop, being the proud British Navy captain that he was, took up the challenge and sailed around Staten Island in less than 24 hours with only minutes to spare, forever cementing New York's claim to the island. As fun as that story is, there's another more serious event that took place at this house. The reason the house is named the Conference House is because of an infamous peace conference that took place here on September 11th, 1776. It is here where Benjamin Franklin and John Adams met with Admiral Richard Howe of the British forces right at the beginning of the Revolutionary War to settle their differences and put an end to the hostilities with Britain. And while Admiral Howe, on orders from King George III, was willing to grant the Patriots more rights than other British colonies enjoyed if they ended their fight for liberty, Franklin and Adams stood firm and insisted upon American independence. The Revolutionary War continued to rage on for another seven years, until finally the British were defeated and, after occupying the city for the entire period, evacuated New York on November 25, 1783. 